Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Leo friends. This is a reading for you for the period from the 1st to the 15th in January. And as is customary, I'd like to start by telling you what's appearing on the sky, in the sky. So let's take a look at that and then get into the reading. So what's in our celestial area? We have on the 4th of January, we have a meteor shower, which are the uh, quadrantines, quadrantines. The quadrantines are very generous and uh, because they, um, well, they appear between uh, the night, the nights between 3rd and the 4th of January, that night. And it's intense, but brief, about nine meteors per hour, per hour roughly, you can see. And the radiant, the point at which it starts, uh, it seems to start the um, the meteor will be visible at 62 degree, 66 degrees above the northeastern horizon. Now, what else do we have? We have something cool here that not many people talk about. I like this. It's perihelion. The perihelion, the word means peri, near or around, and helion is the sun. So. This is on the 5th of January. The 5th of January is the day in 2001, 2001? Oh God, where did I get that from? 2020, 2020. The day, January 5th, when the sun, when the earth is going to be closest to the sun. So I think it's a day for celebration. Then we have the conjunction between uh, Moon and Aldebaran, and, and that is on the 7th of January. And it's very close. They will be very close, within 2.3 degrees of each other. Then we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got something that won't slide. There you go. We've got the um, lunar eclipse that you all know about is on the 10th of January. It's a penumbral lunar eclipse, and that means that you will see not the entire moon being um, eclipsed, but a part of it. You'll see a, an umbrage. You'll see a shadow there. And um, what does that happen? What happens then? What for us? What does that mean in um, in terms of the eclipse itself? Eclipses are um, at the peak of a moon's cycle, and it generally heralds in a cycle of completions. Secrets may arise and may emerge, and you'll may may be revealed. But what's interesting too about this full moon, which is uh, a full moon in Cancer is that, like the sign itself, um, being very sensitive, this moon will make us highly sensitive. Um, feelings are going to come to a head and emotions will run very high. So prepare for that. And now let's go into your reading. Let's go into your reading. I've got here a um, camera. I, this is a makeshift camera. I have to work it out. The learning curve is still long. I I'm, I'm hope it's not, but I've decided to use this setup. You can see my phone's um, desktop, so to speak, but there is no latency in the cards, as you can see. Not like in the first six, vi six videos. There's no flapping hands. So where is Leo these two weeks? What is going on for Leo in these two weeks? I have here the Jilded Tarot of the Gold of, um, of Gustav Klimt. You've seen these before. Lovely cards. Jilded Tarot by Gustav Klimt. Now, I'll show you the cards first. What I'm going to do is put cards down, lay the cards, and then cast a rune on each card and read it that way. Use the runes, one each, to highlight each card. The first card is Page of Coins. Page of Coins. Then I've got the Justice card, then the Four of Cups, the Knight of Coins, the Ace of Swords, and the Three 
of sorts. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at what's going on here. I've got to um, shut that off. Okay, fine. Now, let me get my runes here. Let me call you sweetheart. <laughs> let me get my runes. Let's see, for the page of coins, there you go. And for the justice card, the four of cups. It's interesting here, Leo friends. Then the knight of coins. Hmm, we've got tear has been popping up. Very interesting. Manats as well. And Fehu. Okay, so we've got this um, rune called Awats. Awats. A Watts, and it is a uh, journeying room. It talks about movements, about shifts. Now, this is the page of coins. What does that mean for us? It talks about shifts, but it also talks about changing, um, getting information about being able to change a residence. Now, that means that um, if you, for those of you who are interested in moving house, what is uh, appropriate during this period is that you will be getting information. The actual move is not going to take place in these two months, in th these two week period, but you're going to have a, um, a just a second please. And it's going to be a, um, uh, in the two week period, it's not going to, uh, take place, but you will get information about a place that you're interested in. And this is in terms of those who are looking for a change. Um, a. Watts also talks of, um, of uh, gradual development. So let's say that, um, how can I put it? There's a steady progress. Things don't happen so quickly any th kind of plans that you're interested in, especially plans concerning romance, plans concerning your emotions, have to do with a, um, a bit of a delay and steady, not delay, I didn't want to say delay, but steady progress. Now, going to this karmic card, the justice card, I've got Soilo, which is very, very lucky for us, because Soilo is the sun in the in rune speak. It is the sun, and Soilo talks of it whispers success. It shines success. It is a victory, especially in a competition, um, a victory giving you great power and great success. Karmically, this is your turn. This is your turn. It's your turn, Leo. Um, it's you know how that song it's coming round again um, I don't know if it's Carly Simon but it's your turn and karmically you're up at bat we have here the four of cups and the four of cups is highlighted by Aljits and Aljits is the hue tree Aljits is a um, how can I say is the um, it is also a protective room, but there's more here. I like to say that the the um, the uh, the universe has your back, but here I find an influence. I'm looking at an influence that is coming into your life that's very very lucky. And I said the word luck twice now, Leo. Remember that um, we're talking about luck. And luck is being at the right place at the right time and having done your homework. Um, this is also a rune, especially for the Four of Cups, which I do not read as, as a, a boredom card, by the way. The Four of Cups is another step in, the, um, in bringing forward emotional progress, in bringing forward emotional plans that you have. And I'll just hear is like I said a protective room for your emotions and it does harbor friendship. Think about that and um, think about your friends during this first two week period in 
uh, January that even if there were there had been bones to pick this is going to be on the men's now on the mend the knight of coins here the knight of coins has tear and tear is again you know this is one two three three beautiful runes tear is also a rune of success of victory especially in competition and um you're highly moti motivated with this knight, with this knight of coins. Uh, I see the coins in the tarot as spiritual cards. I see you moving towards the notion of coming together. Now, this could play out in terms of a uh, romance, in terms of a partner that you have let go, in terms of someone who you haven't seen in a while. But Tear here stands to tell you that, first of all, you are highly motivated to bond and second of all here he here he there will be an increase of money and power now any way you look at at it this is an abundance economically speaking and abundance in terms of a coming together love abounds really uh, interesting leo i mean it looks like europe at bat really it's your turn I also have here over this Ace of Swords, I have the um, the rune called Manats, and Manats uh, is talks of humankind, mankind, and um, it, it talks about interdependence. The term that we hear a lot, the phrase "We are one." Well, Manats here over that Ace of uh, Swords is is telling you, Leo, that you'll finally start to understand what that means what it means to be we are what me we are one actually means you'll re be receiving aid for something that you have been needing for a long time you will be receiving aid and this is the time to create new plans ladies and gentlemen leo friends now there's also here um over this three of swords i've got fehu and fehu is a rune of um fulfillment of gain of harvesting and earning of um again abundance now this is quite interesting and um i i you know i keep seeing here abundance in terms of monetary value but um this these coins here also suggest that you're it's as if leo in this two-week period your rose-colored glasses have to do with um your rose-colored glasses what i mean is your love your language of love in this two-week period has to do with you with something coming in of a, an economic value so you can be generous to give back spiritually now to cuff to top off this reading ladies and gentlemen leo friends i've got a deck that is a an italian oracle deck i've used it in private readings because i like the way it talks to me i like the way it answers issues and i've never used it on camera but i decided to use it this time and um i'll show you those i'll pull two series of cards Now, we've got Riuscita di Affari, the success in business, success in a project as well, Impossibilità, impossibility, and Denaro, money. Now, it looks like, an, and it looks like something is on hold. Let's hold on, let me get back. We have the next three are Matrimonio, matrimony, wedding, rupture rottura and viaggio vacation movement again we have this movement um we did talk about being uh, on the move remember with a watts and those of you who are looking for a place now it looks like there is a hold on that and it looks like the money coming in is going to be coming in at a time when your project is going to be put on hold interesting the way these cards are talking now look 
those of you who are in um, the market for not exactly the right words, but those of you who will uh, be making um, wedding plans, you are having second thoughts uh, and they are well-grounded second thoughts. You're thinking uh, the second thoughts have this kind of um, of a stream of consciousness. Well, you know, I do want to take a trip. Yes, I do. But what would it be? What would the difference be of me going on a vacation by myself or me going with this person that I'm with? What would be the difference between those two scenarios? Where would I get the most out of, uh, in terms of personal growth? Where would I grow more? So th these ideas are going to be com coming up in the first two weeks of January. And in terms of money coming in, there is a slight delay about that, but I'm looking at abundance everywhere you turn. Abundance, the announcement of abundance here as well. I do hope this was of help to you, ladies and gentlemen, Leo friends, and like and share my videos if you appreciate them and subscribe, I'd love that. Do um, um, wait for me, I'll be back with other videos today and um, I'll be back with other videos later on for the month of January, the energy readings. Bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen. Namaste, Leo friends.